Street Stock MLM Diagnostics Fast 40 Series, round number three. Starting scratch on the field from Farmington, New Hampshire. Living the dream at 13, the 08X, that is Caden Roberts. Starting 18th on the grid, a regular at the Hudson International Speedway, came over here tonight to have some fun. Car number 51, welcome Bryce Howard. Inside Howard and the Spindle Eye Associate sponsored. Car number 21 from Raymond, New Hampshire, Clark Brooks. Outside the next row, driving car number 73 from Plaston, New Hampshire, Shane Brandy. Inside Brandy, driving car number 88, making his second start of the 2022 season. Car number 88, Rob Williams. Outside the next row, driving the X car. He's one of our top pointsmen in weekly competition here. Car number X, Adam Lovejoy. Inside Lovejoy, making his second start after an 11 year hiatus from auto racing in the Seacoast Truck and Auto sponsored. Car number 11, Todd Brage. Outside the next row, last Saturday night's Woody's Auto Street Stock Victor in the Lou's Custom Exhaust sponsored. Car number 52 from Bill Rickham, Massachusetts, the Rocket Rob McRae. Inside McRae, driving the Ferreras Towing and Recovery sponsored. Car number 7, Shane Gendron. Starting 10th on the grid in the Andover Street Auto sponsored. Car number 22X from Kingston, New Hampshire, Jim Storis. Inside Storis in the Kelsey Booba Realty FF Performance sponsored car number 02, the hometown kid, Dylan Billadu. Eighth on the grid, your current points leader in the MLM Diagnostics Fast 40 Series in the Minuteman Floor sponsored car number 57, Bill Fisk. Inside Fisk driving the Maddie's Car Wash, Trinity Property Services, Domino's Pizza sponsored car number 7C, JT Cashman. Next on the grid, starting in the sixth position, the AJ Septic Services sponsored car number 47, Brian Caswell. Inside Caswell, Astoris Construction and Remodeling, Andover Street Auto sponsored car number 44, Aaron Day. Starting fourth on the grid, this driver had a great run through his heat race, looking for a good finish and feature time here tonight. Car number 00, AJ Penasetti. Starting third on the grid in car number 18, another driver looking for a strong performance here tonight. Third on the grid, car number 18, Rob Dialmedia. Now to your front row, back in action after a few weeks off in the Slicker Motorsport sponsored car number 95, a plus five through his heat race from Plaston, New Hampshire. Welcome back, the bulldozer, Ronnie Bullduck. And on the point for tonight's MLM Diagnostics Fast 40 Series, round number three, car number 18S. Can he get it done from the pole shot is the question. On the pole here tonight, Justin Storis in car number 18S. Race fans, at this time, we ask you all to please rise. Gentlemen, remove your caps for tonight's performance of the Star Spangled Banner. Race fans, next time by will be the wave off lap for tonight's 40 lap main event for the Woody's Auto Street Stocks here in round number three of the MLM Diagnostics Fast 40 Series. Pick your favorite driver now, wave them to victory this time by starting in turn number four when they get to you. The drivers will be waving out their windows. Wave your favorite driver to victory. The wave off lap for a great field of Woody's Auto Street Stocks once again here from the Star Speedway starting in turn number four. Wave your drivers on. The wave off lap for the Woody's Auto Street Stocks coming to you now. Pick your drivers. There's 18 of the best street stock drivers in the country right here in front of your eyes at the Star Speedway. Next time by Green Flag and a Fly. All right, Justin Storis and the bulldozer, Ronnie Bullduck, going to lead him down. Rob Dialmita, A.J. Penasetti, and Aaron Day, your top five. 40 laps of distance. Green flag in the air. Round number three of the MLM Diagnostics Fast 40 Series is underway. Storis, Bullduck, side by side down the back straightaway. A.J. Penasetti able to get into the third spot. Penasetti in car double zero. Got around the outside of the 18 of Diomeda into the third spot. Ron Bulldock not going away on the outside. He's going to lead lap number one by a bumper cover. The bulldozer, Ronnie Bulldock. He's scored multiple championships in the street stocks here at the Star Speedway. He's been off on a hiatus for a few weeks. He's working the outside on Justin Storis. Ron Bulldock to the lead. 
Stoneris bounces off the side of Bulldog that time. Ron Bulldog's going to put that in the memory bank. Three wide mid-pack now. Billidu, Storis, and Fisk. Three wide for position mid-pack right now. Oh, Brady goes around in the 11 car. All kinds of feverish action going on. We'll see if Brady in the 11 can get that car refired. Sitting down at the bottom of the racetrack, the caution flag will have to fly. Todd Brady in the 11 car around. Three down, 37 to go. Justin Storis, Ron Bolduck going to go at it again for the top spot. Keep an eye on A.J. Penasetti. He's got some speed here tonight. Green flag back in the air. Woody's Auto Street Stocks back on the way. Justin Storis got a real good jump that time. Here comes A.J. Penasetti now. Penasetti peaks to the bottom side. Storis up the racetrack into Bulldog. That's going to give the lead to A.J. Penasetti. New leader, the double zero. A.J. Penasetti down the front straight away. Storis tries getting down to Aaron Day. Bounces off each other. Aaron Day going to take the second spot away. Ron Bulldog going to clear into the fourth spot now. Bulldog able to get down in front of the 7C of J.T. Cashman as A.J. Penasetti leads the way. Oh, Justin Storis. Storis, Rob Dealmina, Brian Caswell, Jim Storis, Shane Gendron involved. That all started. Justin Storis got out of shape and got way too hard on the binders, and everybody piled in. Tough break for Rob Dealmina. Nowhere to go. Last Saturday's feature winner, Rob McCray, involved. Clark Brooks involved in the 21. Going to go red here as the racetrack is all wadded up. Please back away from the fence. Do not stand on the fence anyway. As Chief Starter Dave Tibbetts, next time by, green flag going to fly. A.J. Penasetti, your leader. Bullduck second, Cashman third, fourth is Dylan Billidu, and fifth is your current Fast 40 Series point leader, the 57 of Billy Fist. Still a long ways to go in this one. Green flag back in the air. Woody's Auto Street Stocks back on the way. Penasetti leads him down the back straight away. The 88 of Williams back on the racetrack. Bullduck out muscles JT Cashman to hang on to spot number two. Now Ron Bullduck going to go to work on Penasetti for the race lead. JT Cashman's got one, two in fast. 40 points behind him. Bill Fisk gets down to the bottom side on. Billidu takes the fourth spot away. Jim Storis gets into Dylan Billidu, runs him up the racetrack. Storis bouncing off Billidu. Billidu has had more than enough of Jim Storis and lets him know it through turns one and two. They're going at it for that position. Then Lovejoy and the X and the 52 of McCray go by. Gendron next in line. Keep an eye on Storis and Billidu. They're getting physical now at the back of the pack. As that all happened, I wasn't even watching the front run. Bullduck got the lead away from A.J. Penasetti. I was watching the 22X and the 02 going at it at the back of the pack. Ron Bullduck got the lead. Oh, McCray and Lovejoy get into it. McCray off the racetrack in the 52, down into the woods. Gendron and McCray, teammates, get into it. And McCray goes down into the pucker brush. Caution, flag is out again. See if we can log some laps. Keep an eye on Dylan Billadu and Jim Storis. They were going at it. Full contact after Storis used the O2 as his brakes. Green flag back in the air. Street stocks back in the way. Bullduck got a really good jump. Penasetti now dealing with JT Cashman. Cashman trying to fill the hole. Penasetti out muscles him down the back straight away. Keep an eye on your fast 40 series point leader, Billy Fist, working the outside on JT Cashman down the front stretch. Adam Lovejoy 
fist came right down on the nose of Lovejoy. Lovejoy keeps his foot in it down the back straight away now. Adam Lovejoy, Billy Fist going at it for the fourth position. More contact between Lovejoy and Fist. They're hooked to each other down the front straight away now. Fisk and Lovejoy are hooked up. Everybody sideways and Lovejoy going to go around in the X. Adam Lovejoy around in the X. Caution, flag is out again. That all started down in turns one and two and track in the 22X. If you don't have a driver radio and they tell you to move up a spot and you don't do it, you stay where you are. Drivers have been told multiple times to have their driver radio. If you don't have your driver radio, you don't get the spot that's being told to you over the driver radio. So Dylan Billiter will regrid sixth. Green flag back in the air. Street stocks back in the way. Storis back on the speedway now in the 22X. He'll rejoin the tail end of the field. Ron Bullduck leads him down the back straight away. Here comes JT Cashman now. Cashman in the 7C down underneath Penasetti. Wheel to wheel for the second spot at the line. It was dead even for spot number two. It had JT Cashman by a bumper. Look at Cashman now. JT Cashman clears AJ Penasetti down in the turns three and four. Penasetti gets right to the rear bumper sideways and that allows Bryce Howard in the 51. Bryce Howard in the 51 making a rare appearance here at the Star Speedway and making it work down the back straight away. AJ Penasetti able to outmuscle Howard for the moment, but Howard gets through the corners a little bit better. Contact made right behind them between Aaron Day and the 57 of Fisk. Bryce Howard down low, AJ Penasetti up high. Penasetti outmuscles him once again down the back shoot. AJ Penasetti trying to hang on to that third spot sideways in the double zero. Bryce Howard's got the spot. Penasetti stuck on the outside groove now. Dylan Billadu gets middle three wide down the back straight away. And AJ Penasetti is headed to the back in a hurry and he's headed down pit road in the double zero. Jim Storis going to follow him down pit road. Tough break for AJ Penasetti in the double zero. Penasetti had a good run going, but that all changed when Bryce Howard got underneath him. Here comes Bill Fist now, your current Fast 40 Series point leader down underneath Bryce Howard into the third spot now. Aaron Day going to follow him through as Howard tries to get back to the bottom side, but he can't get down there in car 51 as they head down the back chute. Up front, Ron Bolduck has made a triumphant return to the Star Speedway. He's put some distance between himself and the 7C of JT Cashman now. How about the rocket, Rob McRae, ladies and gentlemen. He is at a hard race, and he just passed Dave for the fourth spot. Rob McRae in the 52 car was down in the woods a few laps ago, and he's up to the fourth spot now looking for more. Adam Lovejoy follows him through down underneath Aaron Day. Day drives across the nose of the seven of Shane Gendron. Gendron gave him a break there halfway home at the line for Ron Bolduck. 20 down, 20 to go, and Bolduck is on rails in the 95. J.T. Cashman having his best career when he's on a street stock run in the second spot in car 7C. Third belongs to your current MLM Fast 40 point leader, Bill Fist. But keep an eye on the rocket, Rob McRae. Panels hanging off, duct tape together in the 52, but he's making it work down the back chute. Aaron Day has trouble. The 44 car just shut off. Not sure what just happened to the 44 a day. That thing almost came to a complete stop. That allows Shane Gendron and Dylan Billadu to go by. Down in the turns, one and two. Battle right now between the 7 of Shane Gendron and the 0-2 of Dylan Billadu. Further back in the pack as the field up front is strung out just a little bit. Shane Brandy in the 73 car looks like he's headed pit side. Tough night for Shane Brandy in car 73. He heads down pit road. 25 down, 15 to go, and it is all the bulldozer, Ronnie Bulldog.
Rob McRae slowly but surely starting to reel in the 57 of Luke Grum, excuse me, of Bill Fisk for the third position on the racetrack. Adam Lovejoy as well trying to reel in the 52 of McRae. And then it's a ways back to the battle between the 7 of Gendron and the 02 of Dylan Billadou. Ron Bolduck has not had a night like this in quite some time in car number 95. He's got a full straightaway and then some on second spot, J.T. Cashman. Lap starting to tick away in tonight's 40 lap main event after a rough and tumble one here tonight for the street stocks. Rob McRae has caught the 57 to Bill Fist now. From the woods and battling for third, the rocket Rob McRae is there in car number 52. Rob McRae in car 52 has caught the 57 of Fisk. Fisk has caught the 7C of JT Cashman. It's going to be a battle from second on back as Bullduck drives away into the night in car 95. JT Cashman trying to hang on and score a podium here tonight. Ten fingers in the air, ten laps to go, and Ron Bullduck is on cruise control in car 95. JT Cashman trying feverishly to hang on to spot number two, but he's still got 10 laps to drive defensively to try to hold off Fisk. McRae in the X of Lovejoy. Rob McRae in the 52 car trying to find a way by Billy Fisk now. Gives him a shot exiting turn number four that time. JT Cashman doing a nice job in car number 7C, running a perfect line right now. If you're going to get by him, you either got to move him or go to his outside. JT Cashman running defensively in the 7C. Ronnie Bolduck is just on a Saturday night drive right now in car number 95. He's having a Pepsi and a cheeseburger out front right now in the 95 car all alone. The great battle goes on from second on back. JT Cashman, Fisk, McRae, and Lovejoy. I think the drive of the night right now belongs to the Rocket, Rob McRae, who has had an interesting night. Got in that huge melee on the front stretch, then got into it with his teammate, went to the woods. Oh, Fisk and Cashman get into it, and Cashman's into the front stretch wall. What a heartbreaker for JT Cashman in car 7C. Please back away from the fence. Back away from the fence, Owen. <laughs> sorry. 95. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, Did anybody just see Ma Robinson lightning quick get down there? The sheriff making sure our fans are safe here at the Star Speedway. Thirty-four down, six to go for Ronnie Bolduck. Yeah, treat it like a yep. Bill Fist to his outside. Green flag set to fly. Six laps remain. Woody's Auto Street Stocks are underway. Bolduck leads them down through turns one and two. Here comes the rocket. Rob McRae down low in car fifty-two. McRae down low, Fisk up high. Five to go at the line for Ron Bolduck in car number 95. McRae takes the second spot away. Here comes Shane Gendron in car seven. Gendron down underneath Billy Fisk as well. Ron Bolduck leads the way, but he's got the rocket on his back bumper now. Battle is for the third spot. Shane Gendron up high in the seven. Bill Fisk in the 57 trying to hold him off. Gendron has the spot. Now he's looking to the bottom side of his teammate, Rob McRae, down the front two. Ron Bolduck has been the class of the field all night long in the Woody's Auto Street Stocks before their penalty box trip. And he's right back to where he was. Two to go at the line for Ronnie Bolduck. Battle is from second on back now. McRae, Gendron, Fisk, and Lovejoy in the X. White flag in the air. Final trip around for the bulldozer, Ronnie Bulldog. Oh, contact between Gendron and McRae now. McRae bounces off the side of Gendron. Gendron gives him a shot through one and two. Down the back straightaway for the final time. He took a few weeks off, and he's back in victory lane. The bulldozer, Ron Bulldog. Second to McRae, third to Gendron, fourth to Fisk.
And fifth to the X of Adam Lovejoy will head.